biggest question we get a lot is how to change um, or edit your chart window. Uh, and we're going to do that by choosing any one of the charts that you might have open. And it really depends on what about the chart window do you want to edit. Um, because the edit chart features in Trade Navigator are pretty dynamic and you can uh, pretty much change the appearance or create the appearance of any chart you want. A lot of different ways that we can get to editing the chart and it depends on what you're most comfortable with. There's the right mouse click. You can click on the icon on the top toolbar or you can press the letter E on the keyboard. Now because each chart window is independent from other charts and I want you to just draw your attention to the bottom left hand corner of the screen I've got three chart windows open so the only thing that's going to be affected by what I'm doing right now is this chart window so let's take an overview look at what we can change here um, if we start at the very top with general settings we have the ability to change background colors then there are the default styles how thick do we want lines to appear do we want to use extra thick lines on the price bars? Do we want to create thicker lines for indicator lines? Under the miscellaneous settings, we can turn off such features as pop-up windows or tips. You'll notice around the chart window as you're moving, um, highlighting certain areas or pointing at certain areas of the chart window, you'll get uh, chart tips. Now on the left hand side of the edit chart settings window, um, some other things that we can modify or change the appearance for and that is the dates. We can change the bar period times through the dates axis. When we set up our charts, we can add as many panes as we would like to the chart window. There's no limitation to that. So for example, inside of the chart that we're looking at, we currently have three panes. We have first the price pane. Then we have the cycle trend pane, and then we have another pane, pane three, for another cycle trend. And we can turn those panes off individually, as well as the items that are inside of the pane. Because we can also change the individual panes and the items that are inside of the pane, we can click on those individual items and also change those. So if we want moving averages to be of different colors, we can change that under appearance. If we want the moving average to have a different value, we can change that under functions. When you click on an individual indicator, any parts of that indicator that can be changed, such as the color or the function, will display on the right hand side of the edit chart settings window. Now we can go in and change those individual items after we've selected it. Whenever you make changes to items inside of the edit chart settings, you can press the enter key to accept the item or click somewhere outside of the box that you're editing so that that value will take hold. Once you've made all of your changes, you can then click the OK button to exit the edit chart settings window. You'll learn more about creating studies and groups in other videos, as well as learning how to create templates. Now sit down with your chart windows and see what you can create.